so a physician orders 150 milligrams of a drug in liquid form, and in the stockroom there is a vial of this drug with a dose strength of 30 milligrams per cc. And we want to figure out how many cubic centimeters should be extracted from this vial for the patient. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is look for the dose strength. That, that's going to be my conversion factor. What's in the medicine I have on hand? And I can see that's 30 milligrams per cc. So that's going to be my conversion factor, or what I'm going to multiply by to convert, which I could write the milligrams on top, or I can write the milligrams on bottom. Um, and when I'm writing these conversion factors, I can write it either way, because both ways, these two things are equivalent to each other, 30 milligrams and 1 cc. So this fa conversion factor is kind of like a form of 1. And so whether I write it on top on the, or on the bottom, it's the same thing on the top and the bottom no matter what. So they are equivalent to each other. Um, so I can write it in whatever way helps me solve my problem. But just for these conversion factors, just for these dose strengths. All right, so <clears throat> what did the physician order? That's what I'm trying to convert, right? The 150 milligrams. So that's what I'm going to try to convert. And, well, I've got cc's with the milligrams on the bottom, and that's the one I'm going to multiply by. Can you see why I'm going to multiply by that? Well, if I put the milligrams on the bottom, what ha happens to them? They cancel out. So I end up with 150 divided by 30, and my cc's are what's left. Um, and if I simplify this, 150, write it below, 150 divided by 30 should give me 5 cc's, which we could be done, but we're actually not, because what do they ask us about? They ask us to find the cubic centimeters, not the cc's. So, I know that, um, I know that one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter, and I also know one milliliter is equal to one cc. So, I can convert the cc's to milliliters, right, if we're going through the dimensional analysis. Or you could just see that all of these things are equivalent and replace the cc's with the cubic centimeters. But let's go through the dimensional analysis to see how it goes. Um, first, I'm going to convert to milliliters, and then I'll convert the uh, milliliters to cubic centimeters. So uh, one I want the milliliters on top because that's what I want to end up with, and I want the cc's on the bottom because I want those guys to cancel out, right? And then my second conversion factor to go to cubic centimeters, I want the milliliters to cancel, so I'll put those guys on the bottom, and you end up with five cubic centimeters. And that's it. We got the answer, five cubic centimeters. So we want to extract five cubic centimeters from the vial for the patient to satisfy this order.